Have you ever wondered how to get that sweet audio fade without touching your stream deck or doing it manually, just like this? Oh, that's a nice fade. Yeah. Hi, my name is Nate, and today we'll be using the move transitions to achieve that sweet audio fade. Yes, that's right. Uh, tutorials are back. I know it's been a long ass time that uh, I've even made a tutorial. The last tutorial I made was like a long ass time ago. I know. I'll probably do tutorials that I haven't made by anyone else, like something a little bit more unique. But if you have other suggestions or if you want to learn more, if you want me to teach you guys more, let me know in the comments below. All right, cool. Now, first of all, we're going to need you to download the Move Transition by Exceldro. You'll find that in the link below. If you don't know who Exceldro is, he makes these wonderful, wonderful OBS plugins that enhances your stream a billion times. Like we got Replay Source, we got Scene Collection Manager, we got the Transition Table to name a few. He is a very good plugin developer. Now, if you're also on Windows, which you are most likely are, you can install this plugin by BoseBest called Wind Capture Audio, since I'll be using that as my audio source for my Spotify. Okay, okay, I know what you're thinking, all right? Nate, why do I use the third party plugin? There's really OBS 28 already has like the application audio capture. Why, why not use that instead? Well, for that reason being, as much as I appreciate the OBS devs for building a very neat feature on OBS built in, BoseBest's plugin still offers more functionality than the one OBS currently has. So I'll keep using that until it dies or breaks or OBS upgraded that feature. All right. All right. We're cool. Cool. After you downloaded the plugin, pencil it and let's get those sliders a slide in. For this demonstration, I created two scenes, one for the talking scene and one for gaming. Both scenes have the Spotify audio source and the game audio source. This way we can freely adjust them on the fly. All right, let's focus first on Spotify. Let's right click on that and then select filters. And then we'll add two move value filters. One for fading up and one for fading down. Let's go for the first filter. Let's adjust the values of these settings by changing the settings tab to source volume and the value being 100% or whatever you want your volume to be set on. Alternatively, you can go to the audio mixer dock, go to the Spotify source or music source and press the get value button to get the values of the volume. Set the duration to whatever duration you'd like, as long as both sources are present on both scenes. As for me, since my transition takes about a second, I'll input 3000 milliseconds so I could get that slow fade. For the other settings, we'll just leave them be, or if you feel like it, you could try experimenting. On the second filter, we'll name this fade down and do the exact same thing with fade up, but instead, we'll set the value of the source volume to 0%. By the way, just a heads up, if a source isn't available on the other scene, you need to set the duration of the filter equal to the duration of your transition, minus 200 milliseconds or up to 20%. In my case, it will be 1800 milliseconds. The reason why is because usually the sources hide themselves before the transition fully completes. So a good 80% estimate is a safety measure. All right, let's test these filters. We can either click on each filter and press the start button at the bottom of the filter setting, or we could just click the show hide icon. Hey, oh, look at that. That looks pretty good. We don't need a Go XLR anymore, guys. I still want one. Once we're done setting up the filters for the Spotify audio source, let's do the same for the game audio source. Now that we all have that set up, the next step is creating two empty scenes to listen and activate those filters whenever we switch scenes with the move action filter. Let's make two empty scenes, please. I'll name this one Music Fade Up, Game Fade Down. Then the other one, Game Fade Up, Music Fade Down. 
put those scenes where it needs to be. So here on my talking scene, I'll place the music fade up, game fade down scene, and the game scene, I'll insert the game fade up, music fade down scene. Still following? All right, cool. Just checking, All right? Gotta, you know, gotta take it slow. Now let's go back to the talking scene then right click on the music fade up, game fade down scene, and select filters. Now we'll add two filters called move action. I'll rename this filter Spotify fade up and the other one game fade down. Let's focus on Spotify fade up first. On the trigger hotkey, source should be your music source or in my case, Spotify. The hotkey should be fade up filter. Then we move down to the start trigger and select activate. Now we'll do the same with the game fade down, source to game audio, Hotkey, fade down, start trigger, activate. All right, let's apply that to the second empty scene. Let's go to the game fade up, music fade down scene. Go to filters, move action, rename this to game fade up. Then another one, rename this to music fade down. Go back to game, set the source to game. Set the hotkey to fade up. Set the start trigger to activate. Then we're going back to music fade down. Set the source to Spotify. Set the hotkey to fade down. Set the start trigger to activate. Now we're ready. We should now see the slides sliding up and down as you can see here. So I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm listening to jamming through my music. It's like, whoa, dude, that's cool. Then, oh, gotta play. So I'm gonna bang, 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 like, oh yeah, that's cool, all right. Like, yeah, cheers, yeah, yeah. Okay, I need to address this kind of annoying issue. So whenever you close down OBS and then start it again, the sliders won't move because the move action filter loses its target. So all you need to do is just uh, switch up the hotkeys, like fade up, then go back to fade down essentially just resetting the parameters of the move action filter and uh, that should be good you'll see those slides sliding up and down in no time but wait here's the kicker i kind fixed it kinda so I kind of forked over the repository, did some quick fixing, submitted a pull request, and then let Exeldra know that I finally solved the problem, and hopefully that I kind of helped on it. If you want to download the fix right now, you can head over to my GitHub and then download it there. The link is on the description as well below. Now the big disclaimer here though, it is heavily, heavily untested okay so you're 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 going in dark here if obs breaks or if the plugin breaks let me know i'll try to do some fixings myself and you know go as it should be hey guys uh sorry to bust my own balls here but exceldro actually responded while i was editing the video i was checking up on the pull request and he responded telling me the issue has now been solved so let's hope for a new update coming up real soon by Excelder himself. But if you're still going to use my variant, treat it as a band-aid solution, back up your OBS configs, hell even OBS itself, turn it into portable mode just to be safe. Okay. And once the update goes live, please replace it ASAP. I have not tested this plugin heavily at all. All right. All right. Cool. Well, that's the update. Okie dokie. Now that you have that sweet audio fade, making your stream a bit more comfy for the ears, have fun with it. All right. If you have any suggestions, comments, feedbacks, leave them down below. I'll read them. And don't forget to like and subscribe. All right. All right. See ya.